I guess I really don't know what Christmas is all about. Isn't there anyone who knows what Christmas is all about? Is it? Thank you. You're welcome. Keep eating his breakfast. Oh, his ears look like little airplanes. So cute. I'm gonna make myself some more coffee. We're going with um, 2% milk today. I got some at the grocery store yesterday per request because I think that this espresso, the specific one that we use, which I don't know if I've showed you guys, but it's the La Baza. Um, I think this specific one tastes better with regular milk and not almond milk. So with the almond milk, it can taste a little bit like bitter. I don't know. Um, so, yeah. I'll try to put you guys in a different spot today so that it switches it up a little bit for you. Since basically every morning is the same routine. Except that I don't have work today, so that's nice. Except I do have IVs. How nice is that? What have IVs to do? Hell yeah, baby. An IV and an injection. A game changer. 
Alright. chicken last night yeah oh my god babe there's like dried raw chicken pieces on here oh boy that's not good all right we're gonna do this we're also gonna spray the sponge that i just used okay i'll go back to that at a later date what I was saying is I'm really excited because this morning Ryan and I decided that since we're gonna, so we haven't even talked about this yet, oh my gosh. We're gonna be apart for Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. So this weekend, our church, Flatirons Church, is hosting a Christmas service and you can actually reserve a spot to go in person. And it's gonna be social distance, wearing your masks and everything, but we haven't been to church since, in person since they were shut down in April, maybe? March I can't even remember um, we've just been watching online every weekend so to make it really special for Ryan and I we're gonna go to the main campus on Saturday night for church and I'm just so excited like being in church especially for Christmas is just gonna be magical and I'm gonna get to be with Ryan and it's just gonna be perfect so we're gonna do that this Saturday night and then we're gonna celebrate our Christmas with each other on Sunday um because Ryan's gonna go spend Christmas with his family I'm gonna go spend Christmas with mine and then we're gonna he's gonna come to Utah on the 28th and we're gonna have like a big ski trip week off with my family so yeah needless to say I'm extremely excited for this weekend it's just fun to have plans to do anything you know like we haven't had plans for I don't know how long it's just crazy so Okay. We're excited. Rise on the phone with his mommy. Okay. Thank you. Brad, that's fine. Okay. Well, then that's fine. All right. Hi. Thanks, Maddie. Hi, Dad. Good morning. Maddie, my mom's telling me it might be pretty hard to get my dad out to Salt Lake to visit around vlogging that whole time oh my gosh I just said like a monologue and I wasn't recording the whole time okay here's, here's the sitch sorry I've been a bad vlogger today I just got home it's about 1 30 in the afternoon eating for the first time today do not recommend um So I went and did my IV. I so loud. I was FaceTiming my sister earlier and then I just like probably fell off of the vlog because um if you guys follow me on Instagram, you saw that my sister cut the end of her finger off yesterday. Like she literally chopped off a third of her finger. Sorry, not a third of her finger. A chunk of her third finger. Um, her middle finger and like sliced straight through the nail and literally sliced off a chunk of her finger So she was in the ER all day yesterday I was FaceTiming her this morning 
to make sure she's doing okay. Check in on her. And then I quickly had to like get my scrubs on, get ready, and head out the door. So I did my IV, did an injection. Then I um, went up actually by where I used to live, closer up to where I used to live, to a mall that's in um, like Superior area, and that's where Laura lives. Um, if you guys have been OGs, then you know that Laura is one of my best friends. Used to live with her and her husband James. They had their baby Chloe in February. And they're just still really, really, really close friends of ours. So they actually leave to go home to Australia in less than a month. So just trying to get all the time in with her that I can. So we just met at the mall and socially distanced with our masks on and did a little Christmas shopping. And it was just so good to see her. Just love her so much and like literally tear up even thinking about them leaving in less than a month. So anyways got to do that so I didn't vlog at all during that um, and now I just got back home it's about like a 45 minute drive from where I live now so just got home stuffing my face gave Chippy a bone so cute he's in his bed mm. but I did get a couple things I did get a couple things shopping so I will show you guys what I got here in a little bit. I'm gonna change, get comfy, do some editing, and that's all. I'll be back. Mm. By the way though, Ryan made this pesto pasta last night. I think I showed you guys. With chicken, tomatoes, raw onion, cucumbers, and it's so delicious cold, I'm eating it cold right now is like a pasta salad and it's so yummy okay anyways I'll be back when I finish eating you guys don't want to watch this site hi 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 so I've been editing and I am gonna wrap some presents before Ryan gets home so to be Hey, that's not for you, silly goose. No, that's not for you, silly goose. Jibby, come over here, please. Lay in your bed. In your bed. Lay down. Okay, I'm watching Real Housewives of Salt Lake. Guilty pleasure. Oh, so cute. Okay. This, if it'll focus, is. incredible this is the spice bomb victor and roll and this is the scent extreme i'm obsessed with this cologne and i didn't even know i was obsessed with it until today because it's the first time i smelled it but it's so good you guys sorry i'm exporting a video right there and you can probably hear it um but yeah, I am so excited that I found this for Rye. It smells unreal. And I love men's cologne as it is. So, like, I'm probably gonna honestly steal this cologne and wear it. It smells that good. A little bit on the pricey side. I got it at Sephora today, but it's gonna be so worth it. Even though she says I have two faces, I really want Mary to know I can be her friend independent of my relationship with Jen. How have you been? So it's probably kind of boring for you guys because you can't even see my, my wrapping skills. Oh, what if I do it right here? Then you can see it. Oh my gosh, how cute. So, um, I watched The Real Housewives of Salt Lake because it's so interesting to me because I grew up in Park City and most of this show is filmed in Park City or Salt Lake. So surprisingly, I've never heard of any of these women before. Literally none of them. Um, but 
yeah i've never been like an avid uh real housewives watcher i did watch the last season of the beverly hills and it was so good so much good drama but but yeah this one this one's just so interesting to me because i grew up here and like the whole mormon influence that they put into this show it's just there's someone on the show that's married to her grandfather. little tags though at um king supers believe it or not so they're super cute all right one down several to go um the other things i got at oh my god let me turn this off for a second also got this sweatsuit today at h&m super cute um the other things I got from Sephora are another Smashbox Halo Tinted Moisturizer. I got it in a in medium tan because I needed another color. And then this was my little birthday gift. So let's see what I got. The Milk Primer, which I've actually used before. The Milk Mascara. Interesting. Okay, nice. And... Is this a little blusher? Lip and cheek. Cute. Oh my gosh, I've been wanting to try a cream blusher out. So we will try those things. And then I got these cute little um, lip glosses. I'm going to put them in my mom and sister's stockings. So that's that stuff. And then I got these cute little eye masks also to put in their stockings. So we can do those over the holidays. And then... I got Ryan some socks from H&M. Pretty cute. He's a big sock guy, so I'm gonna stick these in his um, in his stocking. Gonna just take that. Oh shit! Did not mean to do that. Oops. Cute. Look at these ones. So cute. Maybe I should just, yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna take the things off and roll them up all cute, right? Cause then I can just wrap it like that. Okay, doing it. Look at these ones, it's a skiing avocado. Especially cause Rye's gonna be skiing this year, so. I thought that was cute. And then this one. Oh, love. Okay. And then to round out Ryan's gifts. Obviously, we'll show you guys like a full. We'll show you guys all what we got each other, I think. But um, I got this really cute fleece also from H&M. So I'll show you guys that when I get that out. But I have to run to Target to get some boxes. Um, since I don't have any boxes to wrap things in, I just have a bunch of paper and that's all I got. Okay. All right. Here goes nothing. We're going to wrap these socks. And... 
I'll be back. Okay, so this is the fleece I got rye. How cute is that, right? From H&M, it was $40, $40 I think. Um, but the inside is like this cute camel color. And yeah, I got him a size large. Okay, my pet peeve about H&M is they just leave the, like you can't take off the price. It's so annoying. And like even if you put Sharpie on it, you can still see it. Yeah, you can still see it. It's like, I mean, not that I really care, but now I feel like Sharpie's gonna get all on this. All right, time to go to Target. Okay. Put this one under the tree. The tree's looking good. Lots of presents under there. Let's go check the garage for packages too, because I was supposed to supposed to get a few more packages delivered. So let's go check it out. Guys, he could literally do this for hours. And he is such a good goalie. He catches it every time, pretty much. Yep, there we go. He just had dinner and he's just ready to go. Aren't you, buddy? Ready to go. So I wrapped Ryan's coat. And he better not watch this before he opens his presents on Sunday. You love your football so much. You just love it. Okay, let's let's try to trick him this time. Ready? We're gonna go this way. Wow, good job, buddy. He seriously will do that for hours if I let him. Are you always hearing this crunch? I literally place you guys in my jar of mints because it's such a convenient spot. Okay, so since I've been, since you saw me, I went to, I actually went to Marshall's. Um, there's a Marshall's right by my house and I like never go in there and for some reason, I decided to go and it was great. I found I found lots of good stuff actually. Um, but I'm gonna make a little cocktail. These are the other, the larger of the Incana glasses that I linked in Vlogmas a couple days ago. Um, but I'm gonna do a little bit of ginger beer. I'm gonna do a wedge of orange. So I'm gonna squeeze it in there. I don't know if this is gonna be good or not but it's gonna be orange, ginger, and whiskey. So, we shall see. Ryan's at the gym, getting fit. With his friend Isaac. Um, Isaac went to college with Rye. They were on the CU football team together and they've like recently rekindled their friendship because they're both in medical sales and um, They've been hanging out, which is pretty cute. Just like at the gym, doing workouts together. Here in Colorado, I don't know how it is for y'all, but we have to wear masks the entire time we're at the gym, so. Oh my gosh, that is a good freaking combination. What shall I call this? Orange, ginger, what's it? No, dark and stormy's with rum. This is kind of like a dark and stormy though, I feel like. But the orange makes, makes it taste like Christmassy. I don't know, it's really good. Highly recommend. Okay, so yeah, I went to Marshall's. Let me just show you what I got. Um, I'm just patiently waiting for Vlogmas to um, upload for today and patiently waiting for The Bachelorette to come on because it's going to be a really good one. 
Okay, there's a present for Chip in here that I'm not gonna take out because he's literally just staring at me out of the corner of his eye. But I got some dark chocolate almond butter cups for, I think I'm gonna put these in my mom or my dad's stocking, but I like to get little stocking stuffers. So um, I also got this pack of three hand sanitizers. So I'll stick those in probably my mom, my sister, and my dad's stockings, or maybe my brother's. I got this cute flannel in the men's section. It's a men's small, but my mom really wanted a flannel for Christmas. And I think I'm going to try to Lauren Kawano this thing and bleach dye it for her. Cause she likes, she really likes the bleach dyed flannel that I have of, um, that Lauren gave me. So I think this is perfect because my mom's super petite. So I got a men's small and I'm going to try to bleach dye it. So maybe we'll do that tonight. Um, Maybe we'll do it another night this week. Actually, I work I work night, well not night shift, but I work the later shift this week, so it'll probably actually be in the morning. Oh gosh, I think Chip saw this already. Sorry Chip, you can't have that right now. And then, I don't know if you guys know this brand, Cynthia Rowley, but it's like the brand that makes the softest freaking sweaters you've ever felt in your life. And this one was like $17. And it's like really luscious, nice material. It looks like it's expensive. And yeah, it has like the cuffed sleeves, the cuffed hem. I got a, I think I got a small, but I just like don't really have cute sweaters for winter that are so cozy and comfortable. So anyways, I did get that for myself. I also got a big thing of dry shampoo. The dry shampoo at Marshall's and like TJ Maxx are always so much cheaper than, um, than the ones that's like the regular store or target or whatever um and then i also got some stocking stuffers for ryan's stocking a few more things so i'll just show you since chippy no that's for christmas uh-uh that's for christmas where's your bone where's your bone go get your bone oh my gosh this boy I tell you what um okay so i got some hot chocolate mix because we don't have any chip that's not for you honey there's never you. Go get your bone. Go get your bone. Good lord, this dog. There's so much energy right now. I just took him for a walk, so. Okay, hot chocolate mix, a little um, whiskey soap. They call it the Manhattan. I just thought it was cute. You are being nuts. It's because he saw that. It's because he saw that toy in the bag. Oh, Chip, come lay down, please. Lay down. Lay down. You are being crazy. Crazy. Ah, lay down. This is not for you. Okay, I also got some dark chocolate sea salt caramels and he loves like chocolate oranges. So this is orange flavored. So I feel like he's gonna just love that. So let's wrap these things real quick before he gets home. Um, here's your football, sir. Stay, stay. I'm gonna see if he can stay. 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 Here you go. Here's your bone. Yeah, get in your bed and chew your bone. Good doggy. Good doggy. That's your bone. You can have that. Oh my goodness gracious, you guys. All right. I'll just wrap these things real quick. Tell me if you guys agree. There is nothing more annoying than the tags at Marshall's and TJ Maxx. <coughs> Chippy. Somebody's Let's go see who it is. Okay, hi. It was my neighbor. He got a package of ours, I guess. And it's my Bath and Body Works stuff. So the day that they had the soap sale, I, where did scissors go? Oh, I know, I put it up here. Oh, lordy, okay. I really need to get these things wrapped before Ryan gets home is the priority. Okay, but yeah, that was my neighbor bringing a package down. It's funny, like the, the delivery guys in this neighborhood, I think like all of our, House numbers are pretty similar, and they just don't always get it right. So I ordered a bunch of 
the soaps on the days that they were $3.95. So, oh my gosh, these are so cute. So these are going to be fun, just like little gifts for my coworkers. And I just got a bunch of them. So cute. Oh my gosh, it's so early. It feels like it's so late. I probably should have worked out before I started drinking a cocktail. But you know what? Just chalking up the rest of 2020 to like, just gonna continue to go down this path of laziness. And then when 2021 hits, it'll be a lovely, lovely change when I start getting in shape again. So that's where I'm at with that. Okay, I love stockings. What's y'all's, what's your favorite um, like part of Christmas? Cause mine is the stockings. Like all growing up, we've always like, we'll wake up in the morning and we'll sit at the top of the stairs. Like seriously to this day, my mom will make us like sit at the top of the stairs. And we'll go down and we'll start with our stockings and like my mom's just such a good stocking stuffer um and as we get older like i try to be a good stocking stuffer too so that because i really like filling people's stockings i don't know i just think it's so much fun like the little trinkets you can find that you would never really buy yourself but that others can buy you it's just super fun well it's gonna be fun we're gonna yeah, like I told you guys, we're gonna have our little Christmas celebration on Sunday. So I'm looking forward to it. We will obviously be vlogging because vlogmas will not be over by then. So, sanity. Okay, let's put this stuff in Ryan's stocking. Getting fuller. Boy is up. I just had the best idea. <laughs> I'm gonna ice Ryan in his stocking. How freaking funny is that? It's gonna do it okay i will be back in a bit i think i'm gonna start the meatloaf get that going and see if i can facetime my friend lauren so she can tell me how to bleach dye what? what's up guys what yeah, that's fine i think it's fine don't you we uh, rise home from the gym. We're having these delicious cocktails and and we're making meatloaf. Beetloaf. Meat. It's in the fridge. I mean, in the fridge. It's cooking in the fridge. In the oven, and we're playing chess, watching The Bachelorette. Great little Monday night. Yes, son. Oh, we owned the television. All right. 
He won again. Are we surprised at all? No, we're not. Gotta change the battery. No, I didn't. <laughs> when were you in there? Oh, when you were on your phone and you were picking your nose and eating your biggies. Ew! I don't pick my nose or eat my boogers. I don't pick my nose or eat my boogers, Ryan. Yeah, you should. That's so... Tasty. Ew! Potassium. That's so gross. High in potassium? I was gonna do a face mask, but I just don't have the energy, guys. I'm sorry. I just, I just don't. But dang, that meatloaf turned out so nice, so good. Good job, baby. Babe, good job on the meatloaf. Thanks, baby. It's a good meal. More than good. It was divine. Divine. Okay. I love this lip scrub. This is the Agave Weekly Lip Scrub. And it's by Bite Beauty. It's so delightful. So you just literally just put it on your lips and it's literally just sugar, so I mean it's not just sugar, but the actual scrub portion is sugar crystals, so if you get it in your mouth, it's not a big deal. It actually tastes really good. Real delish. And then we'll brush our teeth and then I'll put on my little lip mask again. And I'm gonna also put on my Ladner Replenish Moisturizer, which oh no, I'm almost out. You wanna know why? Because Ryan Dennis uses it. What did I use? You use my Ladner moisturizer. Mm, well, you say so. I'm gonna use tart. Taste of water. Oh, this stuff is oh so good. Oh so good. Okay guys, tomorrow is Tuesday, my first day of work this week. And I work 10 to 8. So, who goes to see me in the morning? Sorry guys, I had to delete stuff off my camera. Hope you guys all have a great evening. Sleep tight. Mm -hmm. Don't let the bed bugs bite. No we bite. love you. We're gonna say our prayers and go to sleep. Right, babe? Mm-hmm. We're way ahead of you. Oh, he's already doing it. Oh. Good night. See you guys tomorrow.